Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barachu, welcome to Gear Corner. Can the new 1x12 Soltano SLO30 combo sound big? <laughs> Let's go! We got used to hearing these heads with like at least 2x12 cabs or maybe even 4x12, that would be like the obvious choice of course. Uh, so I was wondering if, uh, if this size can give you the bigness, that tight, low end and that, that whole spectrum of, of tone that we associate with the Soldano SLO sound and uh, hell yeah. It's um, it's an oversized combo. So even though it's a one by twelve, um, it it is a big sounding combo, and it's also pretty big. It's not too wide. Actually, it's pretty compact, but it's almost as tall as uh, as the width, which makes it like the tallest one by twelve combo I've ever seen. Unless we're talking about something extreme, but out of all the normal combos, this is really tall, which is awesome, of course, because. Uh, together with its uh, deepness or depth, it really gives you that big low end. And I'm not only talking about that high gain tone that I showed at the, uh, the beginning of this video in the intro track. Also, if you think about all the players who use the Soldanos clean or on the crunch channel, which is like the crunch mode of the clean channel, it just should have that fullness, right? This nice sparkly top end and the uh, the nice and warm low end. Before I get into showing all the sounds, I want to run you through the setup. I'll be using, uh, well, mainly this guitar today, but I'll, I'll plug in the Strat or Tele or something like that with singing coils as well. This is a PJD Guitars St. John uh, with um, Barnacle PF style humbucker and a P90. Uh, then the combo is obvious. I'm not using any pedals at the moment. It's just literally the amp. And uh, I'm micing it with this Warm Audio WA67 um, microphone, which is ridiculous. And that is going into a uh, fitting preamp, which is the Warm Audio WA273. Great preamp. It's, uh, it's set for a very neutral sound. It just captures everything that goes into the mic and that goes into the audio interface and the computer. So uh, that's it. If you're not aware of how good the clean channel and the crunch channel or the crunch sound of SLO amps are, you are really missing out on something. So the control plate is on the top which is stupid to film, <laughs> but it's actually practical if you have it on stage right next to you, you can actually look down, you see the knobs, you can just quickly adjust if you have to and walk back to your spot and keep on playing. Uh, but for video, I had to put a camera up there to be able to film it in any way. <laughs> so let's uh, flick over to the clean channel. You can see the settings on the cam, nothing extreme here. I, uh, I have the amp turned up quite a bit. So um, that's, I think, where you can really hear what it has to offer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing that I absolutely adore about the Soldano SLO is that it takes pedals like a champion. It's ridiculous. Like one of the best pedal platform amps, which is kind of weird to say because its overdrive channel is so legendary that it's, it's a shame not using that, but it takes pedals so, so well. I grabbed the strat to show you the uh, the crunch setting on the clean channel uh, because it's it's so good. But before I do that, I want to give you a couple of uh, sounds on the clean setting. It just has that quackiness or something that is so awesome about a good strat tone. And it's, uh, I grabbed the humbucker guitar again because it's time to move on to the overdrive channel. Uh, before we do that though, I wanted to talk about the speaker, which is a 12 inch Celestion G12H and it's 150 watts. So uh, you don't have to be worried about it not being able to handle all the power because of course if um, an amp is rated 30 watts especially when we're talking about tube amps it's not just 30 watts there are peaks um, especially like on a non-compressed channel something like the clean channel you will have peaks that are much higher than just 30 watts <laughs> It's unbelievable how much gain these SLO amps have. Uh, the gain is at 12 o'clock right here. And uh, I cannot imagine what to do with even more gain. I mean, for palm muting, it's gonna be already too much gain. So I guess that's gonna be your lead playing, like solo territory. <laughs> There's one last thing I didn't talk about, which is the bright switch, which only works in the clean slash crunch channel. And it's not too aggressive. So it's actually really, really usable to sort of brighten up warm sounding guitars, such as this one. It's, uh, it's nice to have a bit more sparkle sometimes.
If you want to check out the SLO30 combo, you'll find a link in the description under this video. If you open it up, you'll find that and also some um, other stuff such as my signal chain, uh, some additional infos, um, my merchandise, etc. Hit subscribe if you enjoy my videos and meet you down there in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye bye.